Good morning, everyone, and happy Thursday, or Friday Junior, as I like to call it. We are coming to you live today from the Chicken Shack downtown, and we just couldn't get enough of Jonah, so we are back with him again. You may recognize him from our video on Tuesday from From the Hearth. So, as you can imagine, Chicken Shack and From the Hearth have same ownership, and so... Jonah, Chicken Shack is a little bit newer in our community than From the Hearth, so tell us the story and where this came from. Yeah, so we started uh, Chicken Shack uh, over on Churn Creek. Uh, it was a year, year and a half ago now. And uh, just, we, my, my partner John and his wife Diana both grew up in the South, grew up eating chicken and waffles, loved that comfort food. And then on a, a business trip in New York, we came across a chicken and waffle concept that was all about gourmet comfort food. And we just, we were eating it, we were loving it, and at the end we're like, this would, this would kill it in Redding. This is something that Redding would love. Uh, so we brought it back, pitched it to a few people, and they all thought, you know, I've never had that, but I would try it. And so that was, that was enough for us. Uh, we ended up purchasing the old Chicken Shack building on Churn Creek, kept the name, and uh, just redid the entire inside, redid the whole menu, and now we are a chicken and waffles concept, also biscuits now. And uh, yeah, it's been doing well. Awesome. Yeah. So I know when the Chicken Shack, when they were first opening it in 2019 on Churn Creek, my kids were so excited about it, and I wasn't really sure what it was. Didn't you know what didn't have that much appeal to me just from the name. And we went there the first time, and I have been a fan ever since. They have amazing food. I absolutely love um, their buffalo chicken fries. I just have to say are like one of the best things I've ever had. It's like my guilty pleasure. But their salads are amazing too. So you can do like salads regularly and then the buffalo chicken fries is a treat. That's what I do. So tell us about your menu and what you guys offer in here. Yeah, so we, uh, we well, <laughs> that one's out. Um, we do a couple salads that we are very, very proud of. Uh, everything's chicken, it's all chicken, except for the shack burger, which we just added recently for all you carnivores out there who can't get enough red meat. Uh, we do a couple salads. We do loaded chicken fries, which is a bed of fries with uh, cut up chicken tenders on top. Um, we have keto chicken tenders. We have gluten free waffles. Uh, we're doing waffle sandwiches, bun sandwiches. We have a brioche bun that is just delicious for you guys who waffles just a little too weird for. Um, and then we started our breakfast menu. Uh, it, it's all based around these biscuits that we probably did about, I don't know, 20 different recipes for until we found the one that we liked. And uh, we're really, really proud of them. We have our, our honey dunked butter biscuit here with our Marionberry jam. Uh, we make that at our bakery. We were trying to make a pie filling and it turned into a jam. So we just went with it and it is delicious. So, uh, and this is our all in uh, breakfast sandwich. It's the biscuit with the chicken. We have a herbed egg down there with some bacon and some cheddar and then a side of uh, country gravy. Make everything from scratch. Um, yeah, I don't think there's anything on here that I'm not excited to eat whenever I do order it. So our, our main thing is an entree. Uh, that's what most people order. Yeah. Bacon, cheddar and chive, waffle with the fried buttermilk fried chicken. We marinate all our chicken for 24 hours uh, before it's cooked. And that just gets the best, juiciest, flavoriest. Uh, this is, these are also my guilty pleasures as well. So um, I think I, uh, I finally am starting to shed the pounds from opening this place because <laughs> when you're here for as many hours as I it was, it's, it's hard, to, hard to resist. So uh, yeah, that's, yeah, that's pretty much our menu. Okay, perfect. So um, if you guys have not tried the Chicken Shack, I really can't tell you enough how amazing their food is. And not only that, but it's fast. Um, you don't have to wait a long time for it. It's great for takeout. They do delivery as well. And so, um, and then they started, if you remember from the From the Hearth video, you know, they started as a bakery 12 years ago. Mm -hmm. And so, so much of the stuff that they make is inspired by that. And that's where you get the biscuits made from scratch and um, the waffles and things like that. And all the bread that, they're, that they have with their food is made by them as well. So really, really delicious food. Can't tell you guys enough. I absolutely love it. I've tried the grilled tenders, which are great if you want a healthier option. And the keto tenders are well, as well are, are really, really good. So. Um, two locations now. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we've got Churn Creek, um, which is just south of Cypress. So on the same side of the street as they're from the Hearth location. And then we've got a new location downtown on Eureka Way. And tell us about the opening of this and how the timing worked out with that. Well, as everybody knows, the world's kind of upside down right now. Um, and whenever, I think we talked about in the last video, whenever we had to lay off a lot of our staff uh, from, from the Hearth, 
uh, Shake and Shack stayed busy that whole time, the one over on Churn Creek. We weren't open here yet. We were remodeling. We were planning an opening for the spring, uh, trying to catch that, that May busy season. And uh, um, well, COVID's weird and uh, it slows a lot of things down. So we had to put this place on pause a couple times, uh, whether it's finding construction or, or employees or just getting our, our, our stuff together to keep from the hearth running. Uh, but we knew with how busy the other chicken shack was staying that this, there's still high demand for, for this food. Um, it's great for kids, it's great for families. People like to come by on their way after work and pick up dinner for the family. Yep. And, uh, and this was part of us getting our employees back to work was if we can open this up, that's gonna create hours and jobs uh, that we really, really needed to, to see happen in our community, but also just in our, our company's family. And so we were excited to, uh, to be open for the next school year, even though we missed the last one. Mm -hmm. um, and getting open during a pandemic, it felt very backwards. <laughs> it felt really weird. It feels like everything around you is slowing down, shutting down, but we just knew it was gonna be good. And, uh, and so far it has been. Gotten a great response, great response to the community. The outdoor dining's doing well. Uh, it's just been uh, really just a, a godsend to be able to do this during this time. And I think part of it, uh, for us, it just felt hopeful. Like you, yeah. stand, you stand opposite to whatever's happening around you and it can be a, uh, a weird experience, a trying experience, but but overall, it, it felt special. It felt yeah, special doing it. So, definitely. Yeah, just glad to glad to give it a shot, and it's been working so far. Okay, so I absolutely love the story. I know so many of us during this time. It's been so stressful. It's been heartbreaking. Um, there hasn't been a lot of good news out there. There hasn't been a lot of things that you know. It's hard to hold on to that feeling of encouragement every day. It's hard to get up and feel that and not, not feel defeated on a regular basis. And I love that this business was able to push through that, push through the obstacles, push through the adversity that they were facing, continue opening with this second location, and hopefully we can keep them busy during this time. We can keep people coming in their doors. So tell us how people can support you right now. Oh, uh, eat the best fried chicken you've ever had. <laughs> <laughs> as often as you want. Okay, how yeah. do they get that fried chicken? So we have our chickenshackfast.com. Uh, you can order online. Okay. Uh, we have an app on the App Store. Uh, just search Chicken Shack, um, iPhone and, and uh, Google. Uh, we have uh, come in, get some beer. There's not a lot of places you can go and get beer right now, but you can do to go. ABC is still allowing that. Uh, so chicken and waffles uh, goes great with uh, just about anything we have on tap. We're doing 250 pints and $8 growler fills. Awesome. So bring your own growler, but uh, come get it filled here. I'm pretty sure we're the cheapest in town, but uh, we're, we're really excited about our chicken. So you need <laughs> something to wash it down with. Got it. So. Okay, so they'll sell you discounted beer to get you in the door to try the chicken. Because once you try it once, you, they know you're gonna be back. Sure. So you guys have outdoor seating at both mm -hmm. locations as yep. well, correct? And they've got shade and misters at both. Um, you so, can still obviously come in and get order your food, sit outside um, until they're able to reopen indoors. I do recommend coming in to order your food um, just because they have a really neat space. They've got this graffiti wall. So tell us about that. Yeah, local artist uh, Jesse Jensen um, spent a number of hours designing, painting uh, this wall. We just figured it was, it was near the schools. We figured hopefully there's going to be a lot of uh, younger uh, customers coming in. And it's needed some color. We, yeah. we finished this place and it kind of felt too much like a hospital, uh, just a little too uh, dry aesthetically. And so yeah. we added some color, we added some flair. I don't necessarily even know everything that's on there, but every single person under 20 that comes in goes, oh, that's so-and-so from so-and-so. Yeah, like, oh, I found great. a Baby Yoda on there. Yeah, there's He's Baby adorable. Yoda. He is, <laughs> he's super cute. Um, so yeah, we have that. We have an amazing bar. So whenever we do get opened up, we, we did an all new bar area. Um, yeah, it's going to be a great interior space. I think I think people are going to love it on the side of town, especially. Um, it's got to wait to get open. But in the meantime, come check it out, and you can yeah. order. Uh, if you have to, you can still order delivery. Uh, but if you get a chance, we'd love to have you come by and say hi and, yeah, talk about the space. Okay, awesome. So um, I'm going to try to wrap this up without a cheat sheet and see if I can remember their locations and their hours. There's only two this time, so it's a little bit easier. <laughs> so um, remember, you can download their app and you can go to chickenshackfast.com to place your order online. Um, I use both online and the app. They're super easy. I love them both. They make it really convenient. Um, so you can do that to order for takeout. 
You can still do delivery as well. Both locations on Churn Creek and Eureka Way have outdoor seating with shade and misters. And Churn Creek is located just south of Cypress and they are open Monday through Saturday from 10 to 10. So don't forget they're doing breakfast now too. So Monday through Saturday, 10 to 10 and Sunday, 10 to eight. And Eureka Way is open Monday through Thursday from 10 to 9, Friday and Saturday from 10 to 10, and Sunday 10 to 8. You got it. All right, we did it. <laughs> so, you guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Jonah, thank you for having us thank twice you. in one week. We appreciate it. Um, again, if you have not tried the Chicken Shack, come down to one of their locations, download the app. Try their food. It really is amazing. You will love it. Everything I've ever had here is delicious. They have the beer special right now for $2.50 a pint and $8 per growler refill. Mm -hmm. But bring your own growler. And they also have a student uh, back to school student special going right now. So it is two buttermilk fried chicken tenders, the fries, and a fountain drink for $7.99. Again, that is just for students. So back to school special. Leave that for the kids. Um, so Churn Creek and Eureka Way, um, I'll post their hours in the comments as well, but download the app, order online, come in and see them, enjoy their outdoor space, and let's make sure that these businesses thrive because we love having them in our community. As we told you guys on Tuesday, they have been just an amazing supporter of our local community, and if you happen to come into the Eureka Way location and you see a six foot three, really cute 17 year old, that one belongs to me, so tell him his mom said hi. So thank you guys so much. Um, we appreciate you. Please share this video. Please help us get the word out about Chicken Shack and what they're doing in our community and their amazing food. I'm definitely taking that one with me to go because I love biscuits and gravy. So thank you so much, you guys. Please share. Please help promote them. We appreciate you, and we will see you tomorrow.